Come in. What is it, Justin? I spoke to my father about what happened, what we did. I'm listening. Well, he was not happy. And uh, he said a lot of things. We both did. There were certain threats and certain promises. Anyway, he'd like to speak with you. Have him call. No, sir. He would like to meet you in person. Tonight. Tonight? Yeah, he's got to go to Washington in a few hours. But he's going to be having dinner over at the Cafe Barado at 8 o'clock, just across the campus. He's going to be by himself, and he'd like to meet with you. I've got a guest tonight. You know that. Now, I can't walk out in the middle of class. But you could be back before the class was over, Professor. Look, I hope you don't think my father's trying to throw his weight around here. But in consideration for all the things that he's done for this university, he's hoping that you'll agree to meet with him. I'll, uh, I'll think about it, Justin. That's all I can ask. Thank you. Professor? Hmm? I am sorry. Why don't you come have a beer with us? Every Thursday night, we go out and try and gross each other out with different yeah. mystery stories from that. Well, that's a nice offer. Thank you very much. But I don't think I can. Oh, come oh, on. Come on. Oh, and, uh... I feel kind of bad. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to Professor Rusk. Well, you see him next week. Was the uh, Devlin case the only time you're involved with the FBI, Lieutenant? Well, you know, I don't even remember the Devlin case. Oh, well, the Devlin case was the one where the jockey got strangled by the girlfriend who was in cahoots with the stable owner, and they were skimming off the track. <laughs> <to> cover... <laughs> Is he dead, Lieutenant? I'm afraid so. Oh, Lieutenant, should I, should I go get some help? I can call 911. Yeah, tell him a homicide detective is already on the scene and it appears to be murder. Just one more thing.